Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good too. I am, oh. I am very well, I think. Yeah? Oh, good. I'm, I'm very glad to hear that, actually. Okay, yeah. excellent. You ready to finish this week? Are you you're ready to finish this week? We're almost finished, right? Just a few more hours and then we have the weekend. Do we have any plans for this weekend? Hello there. Hello, Brenda. Welcome. Thanks, teacher. So do we have any plans for this weekend? Something um, interesting and fun? I, I think yes, but really? I don't. I don't secure. You're not because sure. In, I'm not yes. sure. Because I, I, hey, Brenda, I, repeat, repeat. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Why? But Why you're not sure? Because my birthday uh -huh. is in twenty three. Oh okay, uh huh. Um, I I watch my I see my my husband mysterious. I I I think I I I have a surprise. Mm, okay, I see. <laughs> Your instinct tells you that you have a surprise. Yes. Okay, I see. Okay, well, we'll see. You can tell us on Monday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. Um, good to see uh, the, many of you. Uh, we're going to start with our attendance. <coughs> Excuse me. So that um, we can start right away. Um, Ada Veronica Munoz. Yeah. Wonderful. Good evening. good evening. Are you making dinner, Ada? I means I will I will only be uh listening because I have a lot of, of work. Oh, are you working right now? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for connecting, even though you are busy at work, but thank you very much. Okay. okay. She she she's made that a cake. Mm. Oh, oh, are you a baker, Ada? Yeah. Oh, just, nice. just watching me in the in TikTok. I really is very interesting this cake. I I see the the cake, the sirenita. Oh, the little other. mermaid. The little yes. mermaid. Mm, the okay. little mermaid. Wow, yes. that's so interesting. This morning I prepare a dessert a plum. Plum. Yes. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Wow. You're making me hungry, Ada. All of a sudden I'm making <laughs> very hungry. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's continue. Alexandra Jamila Garcia. Alexandra Yamile Garcia, eh, Alisa Perez Cavidia. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ana Maricela Flores. Ana Maricela Flores. Brenda Claribel Mejia. I'm here. Wonderful. Cecilia Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Excellent. Can we see your face, Cecilia? Ah, there okay. you are. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present, Miss. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you, Eugenio. Eh, Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present, Miss. Wonderful, thank you. 
Jennifer Nauset Arevalo. Present, Miss. Excellent, wonderful. And uh, Juan Antonio Gran. Present, teacher. Wonderful. And Catherine Andrina Perez. Catherine Andrina Perez. Okay. Catherine uh, Giselle Bonilla. Catherine Giselle Bonilla. Not here. Catherine Lisset. Okay. Uh, sorry. Catherine Giselle. Perdón. Uh, Catherine Marielos. Present, Miss. Wonderful. Okay. You're, you are re representing all the Catherines. <laughs> Lenin Hernandez. No, yeah. you you are representing all the Catherines because mm. their others are not here. Oh, so okay, you're in, okay. you're in representation of the rest of the Catherines. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lenin, eh, Lenin Hernandez Flores. Thank you, Lenin. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis, uh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Ah, creo que no le está funcionando el micrófono, Luis. Ah, no lo... Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, Thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Luis. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Present, Miss. Wonderful, thank you. And um, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. And I'm here. Wonderful, thank you very much. Noe Ezequiel Rivera. Noe Ezequiel Rivera. Norma Lisette Crispin. Norma Lisette Crespin. Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. Present. All right, wonderful, thank you. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. I'm here. Excellent, thank you very much. Reina Isabel Martinez, nada más. Zaira Idalio Oviedo. Silvia Esther Rivera. Silvia Esther Rivera. Okay. All right. All right, guys and girls, thank you for connecting on time. Um, eh, solo un recordatorio de que eh, nos, nuestro compromiso eh, que nosotros hicimos con INSAFOR era decir los lineamientos, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos lineamientos um, eh, está incluida la asistencia, ¿verdad? Que tenemos que estar y aquí en clase eh, los felicito porque eh, estoy viendo que pues prácticamente todos han cumplido, todo lo que se ha estado conectando han cumplido con el, con la, el horario de la, la cantidad de, de horas de requisito que se, que se pide. Y así de que continúen así y también eh, les recuerdo de que deben de tener su camarita encendida. Uh, durante toda la clase, al menos que pues haya alguna razón de, de peso, ¿verdad? Que ustedes uh, me informen por la que no pueden conectar su, su cámara, pero de lo contrario deben estar encendida la cámara, ¿verdad? Eh, y pues, um, y siempre pues conectarse a, uh, por ejemplo, voy a utilizar ahí el ejemplo. Eh, de, de Ada, que ahorita todavía está trabajando, pero está conectada y le felicitamos por eso, Ada, por todo ese esfuerzo. Así que muchas gracias y también por los demás que yo sé que también eh, hacen el esfuerzo. Algunos se conectan eh, desde su, um, en, en, en su carro, ¿verdad? Con, manejando o de regreso a casa en el bus. Um, Oscar, creo que quizás... ¿Tendrá un apagón ahí, Oscar? ¿O algo así? No sé. 
No sé, lo, lo veo así como en el oscurito. Sí, algo así. Pero, pero mire, se ha, se ha conectado. Entonces, eh, el, el, el punto es eso. Le agradecemos, Oscar, porque pues, a pesar de todo está conectado. Entonces, precisamente eso es lo que se pide y se espera de ustedes, que, que cumplan con los, con los horarios establecidos, ¿verdad? Y, y que hagan todo el esfuerzo posible para poder conectarse. Ok, bueno. Um, after that, um, we are going to... Um, share. Uh, we're going today. We're going to start talking about the future, and we're going to be looking specifically at different ways that we can talk about the future. So today we're going to be looking at um, at uh, the future with the present continuous and be going to. So basically, there are two. Um, well, not, not, there's not only two, but two that we're going to be studying today, which are the present continuous, also known as the present progressive. So if you, if you see it, um, present progressive, it's the same thing as present continuous. And uh, also the, the structure be going to plus the verb. Now, Present continuous, like the word says, it's usually used in the present. But what makes it different, or or better said, the way that you can recognize the present continuous, uh, that is for the future, is if you are using time expressions of the future. For example, words like tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week words like that in th those are just some right those are not the only ones things like next weekend um next week um uh, next year anything that indicates um that it's in the future you know that the present continuous is used not for the moment but for the future okay that's how you're going to be able to distinguish it now, with the verb to be, that's pretty simple. Uh, you, we don't really use be going to uh, for any other form. Be going to is always going to be uh, for the future. Okay. Um, any questions about that? Okay. All right, so in that case, well, if you notice, like I said, um, you're going to be able to identify that the present continuous or the present progressive is used for the future when you have time expressions. Like, look at this one, for example. Um, for example, here we have, what are you doing tonight? Um, are you doing anything tomorrow? So those are expressions that um, are showing that it's for the future, okay? Um, the same thing here, although it's not really necessary, um, but but it's definitely indicating the future. So what is she going to do tomorrow, okay? Um, and over here, if we don't have a future a future time expression because it's not necessary, would be going to. Okay, so let's talk about um, the structure. First of all, for the present continuance, the structure that is used is going to be starting with the verb to be. So what are you doing? We always use the verb to be. There's I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Et cetera, et cetera. So we always start with the verb to be. Um, in this case, we're using the verb, uh, we're using are. But it could also be um, for it, it could also be for am or is. Okay. Um, then after that, we're going to be using the verb in the infinite in the ing form. Okay. So if you notice, we're using is I am going to a soccer match. 
That's right. I am. Yeah, exactly. So I'm is a contraction of I am. You're right. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, yeah, so um, so you can use in the contraction. Yeah, remember the contraction. So um, contraction, we have I, I'm sorry. I am is contracted to I'm. You are is contracted to your. Um, he she or it is is contracted to he's she's or it it's okay um let me make this a little smaller so it's easier to fit okay and then um with uh, um, with we we have we are is contracted to we're and you plural so you are is contracted to your and they they are sorry they are is contracted to their. Okay, there you go. So, um, yeah, so, uh, so keep that in mind <clears throat> um, because it's gonna be necessary for both of them. So both of, if you notice both of them, use the verb to be, right? So present continuous, we'll be using are, is, or am. And also, obviously, be going to is going to be using be right. So, you're this is going to be very very important that you remember this structure right or the other yeah, contraction form. Oh, hold on, give me a moment. So, oops, yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, any questions about that? No? It's clear? I want to understand, Miss, and if I speak of the future or talk of the future, mm -hmm. I need to use there to be. Is correct? Uh, you're okay. So in the two, stru we're, we're looking at two structures right now. The first structure is present continuous, also known as the present progressive, and the future be going to. Um, in both structures, you are going to use the verb to be. Okay, so if you notice over here, we also have the verb to be. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are you going to go bowling tomorrow? Or sorry, are you going to go bowling? So are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. So here we're using the verb to be as well. Does that make sense? Yes, no, please tell me. Yes? Does that make sense? Yes, I understand. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, so we are always going to be using the verb to be. Now, with the present continue after the verb to be, um, if it's a question, we're going to have, um, we're going to have you, for example, is going to the subject is going to be after. But if it's an ascent, affirmative or negative, we're going to be using the subject before. So this one's a question, so that's why we're going to be using you after. But here, 
um, because it's a short answer, we're going to be putting the the auxiliary uh, sorry the the subject before. Okay, so it's going to depend if it's a subject. Sorry, if it's um affirmative or negative, put the subject before the verb to be. If it's um a question, put the subject after the verb to be. Okay. And then of course we're going to be using the verb in the ing form. So in this case we have doing, in this case going, this one doing, okay. and this one doesn't need to be a short answer. Does that make sense? Does it make sense or no? So basically with the verb, with the present continuous, we're gonna be using a subject plus, subject plus- Be going. Yeah, exactly. Be plus, Verb going up plus Where? ing. That's going to be my structure. Uh, in the first case, in the with the present continuous, with the, yeah, is it's going to be the structure. Okay. Subject right. plus B plus mm -hmm. verb plus. ING. Yeah. And if it's a question, if it's a question, then it's going to be first be, right? The verb to be, then subject. Then verb. Then ING. And make sure you don't forget the question mark. If it's a question, this is only if it's a question. Okay, so that's what the present continuous. Now, with the future be going to, well, I, I already talked to you about it. We have to start with the verb to be, right? And, um, and if it's a, it's affirmative or negative, we're going to be using um, she. It's going to be after uh, the verb to be. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Um, sorry, my mistake. Um, if it's a question, it's going to be this. The subject is going to be after be. Like, what is she? Um, are they? Okay. And if it's a affirmative or negative. We're going to be putting it at the beginning. Okay. All right. And in short, in short answers, it's going to be before the verb to be. After that, after that, we always are going to be using going to all the time. Going to, going to, going to, going to. Okay. And finally, the last part is we put the verb in the infinitive, sorry, in the uh, base form. So in this case, do, work, go. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. In my case, yes. In your case, it makes sense. Okay, good. Good, good. Um, okay, so I'm going to just to make sure that you do understand. I'll write it down here at the bottom. Because of space, I'll have to do it at the bottom. So with the verb to be, we have subject. Plus. 
plus B plus verb. Sorry, sorry, let me see. Um, plus going to plus verb. Let me just actually base. Let's put it like that. I think it's easier if I do it that way. Okay. I have a question, teacher. Yeah. Um, in the in the examples, uh, only what I only see going to um can be other, for example, have um ang having. For be going to? Uh, yes. Can use in, in lugar de? Going no. to? Having? No. no, the structure is always going to. Okay. Okay. Always, 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 always. Okay. You cannot change going to. It's fixed. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I got it. All right. And if it's a question, we're going to start with the verb to be. Um, plus the subject, plus going to, plus base form. And of course, plus the question mark. Don't forget the question mark. Okay. All right, so that's going to be our structure. Now, what you're probably wondering is, well, when can I use then the present continuous and when can I use the future be going to? Right? That's probably the question that's going through your mind. So you understand the structure, but now the question is, when do I use which one? When, when do I know, know which one to use? Well, basically, the present continuous or the present progressive, as is also known, is used when we have a definite plan. Um, when we are sure about something because we made arrangements. So you are like 99% sure that it's going to happen because you've made the plans. Okay. For, For example, example, in a in a an appointment, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you would say, for example, I'm seeing the doctor tomorrow um, at four p.m. I'm seeing the doctor. I'm seeing the doctor. Why I am seeing the doctor? Because you have an appointment. So you're sure. You're pretty sure it's going to happen, right? Um, or for example, maybe you you you're going to go on a on a on a vacation and you're you're sure that it's gonna happen. Why? Because you already um you already made the reservations for the plane tickets, you have the hotel, you have everything. You're pretty sure it's gonna happen. Okay. Um yeah, so that's when you're going to be used in the present continuous or also called the present progressive. So that's when you, you use this structure. When do you use the future be going to? You use it when you have an intention or a plan for the future. Okay, so this one you're not really sure, but you have the intention or the idea of doing it. So the idea is either here or it's in your heart. You know, you that's what you want to do, but you're not sure about it, okay? Just to give you an example, uh, Brenda, you said something about this weekend. 
I don't know if she's there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, can can repeat, please? <laughs> yeah, of course. Sorry, Brenda, I I I um didn't give you a fair warning. Okay, you mentioned something about doing something this weekend, right? Uh, yes. Okay, but you also said I'm not sure. Yes, I'm not sure. Right? So, which one would it be? Which one do are you going to use? Are you going to use the present continuous or the the future we're going to? Um, I think a person continue. Not, not, I think uh, going to. So be going to. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure, teacher. I but I I think is fifty percent. No, eighty percent present continuous. Okay, so remember, I'll repeat what I what I just said. When do you use the present continuous and when do you use the be, a future be going to? Well, the present continuous you use when you are you have a fixed plan, a fixed arrangement. You know for sure that you're gonna do something because you made the arrangements. So you're like 99% sure that it's gonna happen. Whereas be going to is just something that you have in your mind or you have in your heart, you wish to do it, but you're not sure. You're really not sure. So what would it be? Which one would you use, Brenda? Uh, uh, yes, I, I, I am not sure is what is she going to yeah, exactly. So we're going to be using the future be going to. Why? Because, um, because I'm not sure that the ninety percent percent. Yeah, exactly. You're not very sure about things. Um, you're like, um, you're you're not you're like yeah you're you think that it might happen but you're not exactly sure about it. So then you would have to be using the future be going to. Okay? Okay, okay. I got it, teacher. Yeah, th that makes sense to you? Yes, thank, thank you for your advice. Oh, no, 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 thank you for, okay, good. Um, all right, sorry guys, uh, my, my camera, it's having problems. Just give me a moment while I fix it. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, um, does okay. So let me ask, uh, Luis Alfredo, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, yes, teacher. What are you doing this weekend? This. So I you, okay, this weekend. Ah, uh, what I, uh, what I, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, the next weekend, I am work. I am work. I am working to do tomorrow. I am working to do tomorrow in the afternoon in my office. And uh, the sun, and the sun, I know. On okay, Saturday. Sir, could you repeat that? So this weekend you are you're doing what? Uh, I am working. I am working to tomorrow. I am working. I am working to do tomorrow. Yeah. In the Very... afternoon. In the afternoon. Excellent. I'm working tomorrow in the afternoon. Very good. Yeah. You used it perfectly. Yeah, used it perfectly because you're pretty sure that it's going to happen. There's a schedule, right? You have a schedule for work. So you're pretty sure it's going to happen. You're like probably 99% sure. So then you would use the present continuous. Okay. Can be are, are going to work. Working in the in the morning. 
are you going to work? Are you going to work in the morning or are you working in the morning? You can ask that. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, let me see. Um, Lenin, what is what are your plans for this weekend? What are you going to do? My plans of weekend. Um tomorrow is working. Okay, so tomorrow I tomorrow I working. I okay, and we need to use the verb to be. So tomorrow I I am. Mm -hmm. I'm work I am working. Good. Tomorrow I am working. Exactly. And, and Sunday is my day off. Okay. Very good. Sunday is my day off. Excellent. Okay, very good, guys. Um, okay. All right, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to put this into practice. These, we have some exercises here that I want you to complete. You're going to be completing. A, this would be going to this first, first part. It says complete the invitation in column A with the present continuous use as a future. So, oops, sorry, my mistake. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so it says, so over here to make things a little clear, um, we're, it says uh, complete the invitation in column A with the present continuous use it as future. Complete the response to letter B with the B going to. So basically over here, we're gonna be using the present continuous or the present progressive. And over here, the future be going to. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to send you in the WhatsApp. I'm going to be send you, sending you the well, first of all, I'm sending you the information that I just explained. Okay, you got it. So I just I just um uh, copied the information that I was explaining about the present progressive and the present or the present continuous and the future we going to. And right now I'm going to send you also the exercise. Tell me if you received the exercise. Do you receive it? Yes, I got it. Okay, very good. Excellent, perfect. Okay, so I just wanna make sure that you guys are here. Jacqueline Vanessa. Jacqueline Vanessa. No está Jacqueline Vanessa? Alicia Perez? Alicia Perez, are you there? Alicia Perez Cavidia? Okay. All right. Um, Give me a moment. Is 
for the second part. Okay, so I'm opening the room so you can work on it. We'll be in groups of three, okay? Here we go. Celia, Catherine. Celia, Catherine, are you able to connect? Catherine Giselle, Cecilia Antonio. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Um, I know you're by yourself. Um, apparently your your classmates are having trouble connecting. I was hoping that by the time I got here, at least one of them had connected. But since they haven't, I'm just gonna move you to another group, okay? Pongo la imagen en todo eso porque no la tenía que la mano. Hmm. Va a ser conmigo lo de la. Lo que nos pasó el grupo, ¿verdad? Yes, but be, uh, your your classmates have not been able to connect. So okay. what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you right now yeah. to to another group, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. okay. Creo que me da la impresión como que van a regresar. Solo de un momentito. Okay. Si entra uno de ellos... Le voy a mandar mejor. Y a veces, por la conexión que, que tienen, a veces no pueden conectarse inmediatamente. No, pero no. Ok, mejor lo voy a mandar a otro grupo. Okay. Here we go. Y el, el siguiente le dan en la, entre las comillas la oración you. Entonces, in, in my opinion, the question quedaría what are you doing tonight? Right? Right. Yes. And the uh, number two, can you read Olivia, please? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Yes, I I'm agree. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Are you agree, Lenny? Uh, we having we having friends. Over for a bar barbecue on Sunday. Yes, number three. You're reading number three, right? We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Will you and your parents like to come? Yes, I I I'm agree. Are having 
I agree to number me. four. You say okay. Is are you, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Right? Right. Yes. Okay. It's only, it's only four. <laughs> I finished. Okay. Yes. 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 Ahí lo que dice es la, la letra B. Ah, pero la letra que tengo solo ya. Hello, hello. Uh, pensé que estaba en la sala aún. Okay. ¿Alguien más se cayó? ¿Ah? Es que me dejaba congelada la, el, la conversación. Oh, tuvimos, tuvimos varios problemas Adam y yo ahorita en la plataforma mm, sorry to hear that ok All right, guys we're going to check the answers right now Luis, Luis. Mm, yeah. Luis, you cut the sequence of my group you I'm could sorry. why I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Finish the sign. <laughs> yeah, that's like okay. sorry. Okay, let's uh let's check this. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, please. Good. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Number one, what? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, good. Okay, so what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Would you like to go out? Next? Yes, are you doing anything? Are you doing anything on Friday okay. night? Do you want to see a movie? Three, we, we are having, are, are having, are heavy. Good. we are having friends over for a barbecue. On Sunday, will you and your parents like to come? Okay, good. We are having friends over for a barbecue um, on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? Next. Number four. Are you staying? Are you staying? Are you staying? Good. Are you... Staying. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Okay. Yeah. Any questions so far? Hike. Hike is a 
it's hike is an activity that you do when you go walking in the forest or in mountains. It's going up like something like uh, senderismo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. So that's the, the present continuous for the present uh, progressive. And now let's do the other one, which is the future we're going to. Number one. I'm, I'm going, going to, to be. be. I'm. Yeah. I'm what? Going. I'm going to be. be. I'm going to be. Here on Saturday. I'm going, going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Well, my father is going. Is to going visit. to visit. He is going to be is visit. going to visit my brother at college. Also possible to to put apostrophe s. My father's my father is going to visit. So that's also possible. Others. Okay. All right. Okay, next we have, so my father's going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I, but my mother and I are going to be home. Excellent, very good. But my mother and I are going to be home. home. Good. Notice that we say my mother and I are because there are two people. It's it's we, right? I'd love okay. to come. Next. Sorry, I can't. I? Going to work. I what? I'm, I'm going, to going to work. Good. I'm Over going to work. To Good. I'm going to work. Uh, yeah, don't forget the verb to be. It's impossible to say I going. It's I'm going. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Can we go to a late show? I I'm I'm going, going to stay. stay. I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay at the office until seven. Very good. All right. Bravo. Very good, everybody. Okay, you got it. Okay, excellent. So let's stop sharing. Okay. And we're going to now look at some activities, okay? Um, let's look at some vocabulary related to activities. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Perfect. Okay, good. All right, so let's talk about, um, yeah, let, let's talk about this, um, this vocabulary here. We have barbecue. So these are like events. So we have barbecue. Everybody repeat, barbecue. Barbe barbecue. barbecue. Baseball game. Baseball game. Baseball game. Okay. Baseball, game. baseball game baseball, baseball game. game beach party beach party birthday party birthday party comedy act comedy act yeah. dance performance dance, 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 dance performance <laughs> golf <laughs> tournament <laughs> Golf tournament. Picnic. 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 Play. 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 Rock concert. Play. Rock, wow. Rock, Rock concert. concert. And tennis match. Tennis match. Tennis match. Okay. Do you understand this vocabulary? Are there any questions uh, about the vocabulary? So so. <laughs> Huh? They are hobbies. Yes, they are hobbies. Okay. Your yeah. So well, you have hobbies or yeah activities uh, that you can do that you can invite people to. Anything else? Any other questions about vocabulary?
No. What is gatherings or oh, gatherings? I don't know. Mm -hmm. It say friendly gatherings. Oh, okay, over here. Um, okay, gatherings are when you, when many people come together. So we can have like a family gathering. It means when you invite all of your family to get together in one house or one place. It's a family, that's a gathering. Okay? Okay, thanks. It's like a family gathering, you would, in Spanish, it would translate to una reunión familiar. So it's it just means like, no reunión de que formal, verdad, de que vamos de, de, de gozo, que vamos a hablar de tal cosa, no, sino que reunión de que, reunión social, de que vamos a juntar las personas. So that's what it means. Gather means to collect. To col so in this case, you're collecting people. For example, a barbecue picnic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I, can I build the list? Yeah. So I just, before we categorize them, I want to know if you understand this vocabulary. Okay. Do you understand this vocabulary? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. Sure, I have a question. Play, yeah. play what? Play. Play music, play. Oh, oh no, no. Play. play, play, we're talking like in a theater. A play is like, for example, um, if you're watching, um, I don't know, Romeo and Juliet or. Um, opera? Oh, yeah, oh, an opera could be a play, but usually a play is more like acting um, oh. more than singing. For okay. for example, uh, a very famous play is like there's one that's called Cats, another one called um, Rent. <laughs> that's a ballet. That would be a ballet. Um, for example, it, you know there is a, the, there is a, the famous uh, soap opera eh, Betty La Fea. It was also brought to a, to the theater as a play. Okay, so what is play in Spanish? Play is a. It's something um, like obra de teatro. Obra, una obra de teatro. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so let's quickly match the information. What's a barbecue? Is it a friendly gathering, spectator sports, or live performance? Friendly gathering? Friendly yeah. gathering. Yes. A barbecue is a friendly gathering. Basketball game? Sorry, baseball game? Baseball mm, game? Not. Is in a yeah, spectator, spectator sport. Spect Good. It's sport. Basketball game? Uh, the same. performance is the same. Is the same what? Sports. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Spectator, Spect uh, to spectator sports. Spectator sports. Spectator sports. Yeah. Spectator. Good. Uh, beach party. Friendly gatherings. Friendly gathering. Friendly gatherings. Good. A uh, birthday party? For a new gathering? Good. For a new gathering? Comedy act? Live performance? Live performance. Yes. Dance performance? Live performance? Live performance. A golf tournament? Spectator, spectator sports. sports. Yes, spectator sports. Spectator a picnic. Sports. Friendly, friendly gathering. gathering. Uh, friendly gathering. Yeah, very good. Picnic sports, friendly gathering. Play. Live performance. Live performance. Oh, yeah. Live performance. Yeah. Live performance. Yeah. 
months? Live, not leave, live. Okay. Okay. Live performance. Yes. Rock concert? Live, live performance. performance. Live performance. And finally, tennis match. Uh, spectator sport. sport. Yes, spectator very good. Sport. Tennis match. All right, good. Any questions about this? No questions? Okay, all right. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop sharing right now and we're going to finish off our class. Before I finish off, let me take attendance just to make sure that I haven't missed anybody that was connected today in class. Um, so we're going to start with Ada. Good afternoon, Miss. Very good. Okay, so Ada, Veronica Munoz is present. Alexander Jamile Garcia. Alicia Perez Cavidia. Good Miss. Good. Ana Maricel, Maricela Flores. Yes, Miss. Excellent. Brenda Daribel Mejia. I'm here. Excellent. Brenda, sorry, uh, Cecilia Antonio Cortez. Present, Miss. Good, thank you. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Jennifer Nelson Darevalo. Present, Miss. Excellent. Um, Juan Antonio Brand. Present, teacher. Excellent. Catherine Andreina Perez. Perez Cruz. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Uh, Catherine Giselle Bonilla Oliva, Olivar. Present, Miss. Excellent, thank you. Catherine Maria Los Melendez Viega. Present, Miss. Excellent. Uh, Lenin Hernandez Suarez. Present, Miss. Excellent. Uh, Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present, Miss. Present. Excellent. Very good. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez Rosales. I'm here, Miss. Excellent. Uh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. I'm here, Miss. Excellent. Noe Ezequiel Rivera. Medrano. Present, Miss. Okay, very good. Uh, Norma Lisette Crespin. Norma Lisette Crespin. Eh, Olivia Raquel. Rodriguez. Present. All right, very good. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. Present. Excellent. Eh, Reina Isabel Martinez. Zaira Idalia Oviedo Arrevalo. Y Silvia Esther Rivera Calderón. Miss, uh, you forget me. I forgot you? Oh, I'm sorry. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present, Miss. All right, wonderful. Okay. And Silvia Esther Rivera Calderon, no. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Well, that will be all for today. Uh, don't forget that um, we, are, we are going to have class on Monday because even though it was scheduled to finish this course today, but because we didn't have the first class, um, we we are going to uh, reschedule and we're going to finish off on Monday, okay? So just um, to keep that in mind, and um, you pretty much have almost all the information to complete the, the platform. So don't forget to complete the platform, okay? So that will be all for today, guys. I will see you on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend. Okay, I have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. Bye, Miss. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm,